Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about Jinja templates. Jinja templates are the components of the MTV that display data to the user. Now we have already talked about all of these concepts in uh, a few lectures, a, a few of the previous lectures as well. I'm just trying to make sure that you understand these fundamental concepts of the Flask full stack application development. So whenever we get to the advanced stuff, you're not getting confused as what is the template? What is a template? What is a variable? And uh, what are their differences? What is a view function? What is in, um, an app to route attribute of the application, the web application that we're working with? And how all of these fit to this picture of creating a full stack web application. Now, the Jinja library not only creates text and generate text or render text and HTML files for us, it, it can it can do a lot more stuff it has a, a lot of more functionality it is a very powerful library which we are going to take a look at throughout the next lectures i'm going to show you how you can do conditionals in jinja you can do loops and filters and a lot of more stuff coming up so the templates that we are actually writing are they are treated as text files by jinja which contain placeholders for variables that can be filled in and that is how html is generated so whenever you have an html page this entire html page is considered a text a text file by the uh, jinja templating engine and this text file if it has placeholders like message it is going to be filled by the jinja uh, by the Jinja library itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on and I'm going to give you one more example of how these uh, work and then uh, we are going to we are going to finish this lecture. So let's say I have a paragraph and I'm going to say my name is and then here I'm going to say uh, I'm just going to say my uh, first name is and I'm going to here write first name. So this is one Jinja variable. My first name is first name and my last last name is last underscore name. Now, how can we fill these placeholders? We are just going to go ahead and we are going to provide the values in the form of keyword arguments within this rendered template. So I'm just going to provide a comma and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to say first name which is the actual placeholder that we have right here so this placeholder is going to come right here and i'm going to pass in a string of muslim then i'm going to hit a uh, comma and then hit enter and i'm going to say last name a string of halali let's save that let's run this and you can see it says my first name is muslim and my last name is halali now, if you try to open this with live server directly, you're going to end up with some sort of gibberish, which is which is not actually understandable. My first name is first name and my last name is last name. The reason that this is happening is because we are not actually running this through the Jinja. We are running it through the live server, which is just for HTML and for CSS and for JavaScript. It, live server doesn't have anything to do with Jinja. That is why we have this problem. So you need to be very careful that you need to run it through Jinja. You need to refresh the page and it is going to do that for you. There we go. Refresh the page. It is going to show it right here. Now, um, with this, our lecture comes to an end. In the next lecture, we're going to talk about the model layer.